Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and, re excuse me, a special edition of reviews and reactions with our 1K sub celebration. Yes, indeed. Again, roller coaster ride, top to bottom, a lot of different kinds of songs, and uh, this one is going to be no different. Uh, we're going to be reacting to Velvet Acid Christ with their song, or excuse me, his song, Fun with Drugs. I heard this, I want to say, 98, 99. And it helped me tremendously to understand the mind of an addict, the mind of a drug user, the mind of a drug abuser. My parents were avid alcoholics and drug users. And I was left to fend for myself. That's where I first learned how to cook and why I became a chef. I had to do laundry, cook, clean. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking up music and lyrics. And Velvet Asta Christ was one of those bands where I had found through like uh, LimeWire, I think it was my my mode of choice back in the, those early 90s before everything cracked down and all of that. But it helped me understand that, you know, it, they're, they're sick. And I, I don't mean sick in a way of, like, it's a disease. Like, a lot of those... Like, they went to AA. They've been to NA as well, like, later in my life after this. And uh, that's kind of cultish kind of stuff. Uh, first step, you know, admitting that you're powerless over your addiction, uh, giving yourself over to your higher power, finding a higher power. And, like, a lot of these are, like, religion-based, and I'm not so much a relig religious guy. So I looked at it very critically. My parents did not necessarily do that. But um, I would often go to these meetings, and they got some wild stories, I'll say that. But this was my first kind of, okay, let's think about their, their addiction critically. It got me thinking, uh, you know, it, it inspired me um, musically, lyrically. So no more ghouling around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and goes Velvet Acid Christ, fun with drugs. Oh, God. Did you eat all this acid? That's right. Music! This is not a good town for psychedelic drugs. Extremely menacing vibrations were all around us. Obviously, if you're in holding in Las Vegas. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high powered water acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multi colored uppers, downers, streamers, lappers. Also, according to Kill, for a rum, taste of beer, find a raw ether, who doesn't eat?
watch yourself behaving in this terrible way. Turn your back on a person, but never turn your back on a drug. Especially when it's waving a razor-sharp hunting knife in your eye. No truer words have ever been spoken by the one Hunter S. Thompson. Oh, boy. I haven't listened to this song in ages. Man, I love that trippiness of it. I'll talk more about that in the review section. See you there. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Velvet Acid Christ with his song, Fun With Drugs. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. Truly being pleasure at your leisure. So let's go right into these lyrics. Sick, distorted colors stab into your skin. The fluctuating light that comes from within. Acid on the tongue goes straight through your brain. Falling on the floor as you wince in pain. Try to escape, but there's no nowhere left to run to. I see you fall again on your face. Never mind this horrid disgrace. I see you. I feel you. I know you. I own you. I see you. I feel you. I know you. I own you, 
I see your skin falling off your face and fall onto the floor. Time drips away from the world, and the time that you spend is an underworld. I cannot see, but I know you're sick, and I do not mind that you try to anticipate about the world inside and take some more and fry your mind. Sick, distorted colors stab into your skin. The fluctuating light that comes from within, acid on the tongue goes straight through your brain. Falling the f on the floor as you wince in pain. I see you. I feel you. I know you. I own you. In your mind. In your place. In your sickness. In disgrace. In your mind. In your face. I know you never wanted this. Again, absolutely powerful lyrics. And it comes from an, an odd choice of... Uh, narration, which would be from the drug's perspective. Usually, you're, when you're dealing with something like that, you're dealing with the person. But again, therein lies the genius of this of these particular lyrics. When you have that narration from the drug's standpoint, you realize that people under the influence of drugs are acting of drugs. They are the drug. It's not themselves that are doing that. It's the drug. Their influence under the drug. And I, you know, I was, when did this song come out? Let me quick find out here. Release date. 1999. Okay. So, in 1999, I think I heard it 99 or 2000. I'm not exactly sure, but around there. So, let's just say 2000. I was 13 years old. To have that kind of perspective, where it was kind of like, whoa, it kind of opened up this whole new thing in my mind. And I was like, okay, I can understand this a little better. I understand my, my parents are sick. I'm not going to judge them. I'm going to try to help them. I'm going you know, and now I can't speak for my dad, but I can speak for my mother because we talked about it later in life a lot about her drug use and drug abuse. And uh, she went to NA because of me. And she was clean and sober for quite a while until she had surgery. And then she got addicted to painkillers which is a whole huge can of worms in and of itself. And now she's on to boxing because as she says to me, because, you know, I'm old enough to understand either I can be out buying heroin or um, these prescription pain pills, or I can be on a controlled substance like suboxone and say what you will about her, her having the need to have suboxone and, and all of that. I'd rather have her here amongst the living. I mean, that's my own selfishness. I will admit I, I want my mother here for obvious reasons. Um, I understand that she's sick and she needs help and she's getting the help, albeit in a very roundabout way. Um, if it was up to me, she would be completely clean. But I understand if she's that much in pain and she's been you know, on this stuff for as long as she has been. She needs to be weaned off of it, and you know that whole thing, and and detox, and, and it, it's just a, it's a vicious cycle, through and through. But man, it's just those lyrics for me, powerful. And it, if I had to pick the one specific where it's the most meaningful for me is "I see you, I feel you." I know you, but ultimately, I own you. Without me, you're nothing. And that's the true power of these drugs. And then, of course, the ending. In your mind, in your place, in your sickness, in disgrace, in your mind, in your face. I know you never wanted this, but it's, at the same point, it's it just has that kind of grip and hold on people. And it's 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 truly tragic. It really is. I, I've dealt with it, and I, you know, I'm not one for drugs like, like heroin or anything like that. But if I were to do drugs, it would be LSD or mushrooms. I think 
not so much LSD, but mushrooms, as far as, you know, having that, like, epiphany moment, that trip, that seeing those fluctuating lights and all of that is something, you know, kind of to free your mind. I, I like the idea of it. Now, as far as being addicted to mushrooms, I don't think I've ever heard anybody being addicted to mushrooms. Um, but this was instrumental in me, you know, coming to terms with drugs. And not, not every drug is created equal. Obviously, cigarettes are not going to be on the same level as, say, heroin. As far as, I mean, yes, you both will still kill you, but one is more over a longer period of time as opposed to, like, say, heroin, where it's going to make your heart stop at any moment. Or oh, you're not going to OD off of cigarettes either, so no drug is created equal. But I do digress a little bit. Musically, very trippy, syncopated. I love the artwork. I loved the I, I still don't understand uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas I've watched it plenty of times I am not a huge fan of that movie I, 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 a lot of people attribute it well you have to be high to understand it maybe but the time has passed for my drug use I'll say that uh, I was a I wouldn't say alcoholic but I was a major drinker uh, and I quit cold turkey uh, nine, or when my son was or when my wife was pregnant with our firstborn son, I said, this is not fair to you that I can drink and you can't. So I was like, you know what? I quit. And I've been clean and sober ever since. Not that I'm like, oh, good for me. Pat's on back kind of thing. It's just that, you know, I didn't value alcohol as much as my firstborn child. So I quit. And um, I am a much better person because of it, my personal opinion. I actually had a drink uh, somewhat recently, like two months ago, and it made my stomach sick. I threw up after one sip. And But it might also do with the fact that I'm on medication, too, uh, where alcohol will, will, if I have too much of it, will cause me to have seizures. But I think my body has rejected alcohol now because it's been... He was born in 2017, 2023, so almost seven years. Yeah, almost seven years, maybe just a little over seven. But yeah. Great stuff by Velvet Asa Christ. He's got some very, very dark stuff, to say the least. Really enjoy what he does. So, that being said, score. I am going to give this 4.5 skulls out of 5. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. For me, most of what makes the song for me is just those powerful lyrics. And it just, it, you know, just blowing my mind when I was a kid. Expanding my mind and shaping how I think and act today. It's nice to come back to those old tunes and wow, you know, that had a profound effect on on the way I perceive and handle my world and my reality. <sighs> kind of glad I kind of, you know, I find that music in my young youth. But I do digress. I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. Excuse me, special episode of Reviews and Reactions with our 1K sub celebration. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah, wow.